Cabrio buyers love taking the roof down and the Peugeot 308cc brings the prospect of making that job ever so easy. It has a metal top that can be stowed in 20 seconds, bringing with it the prospect of lots of open-air motoring. The good news is that the CC comes with a selection of fine 1.6 and 2-litre petrol and diesel engines from the 308 hatchback. The not-so-good news is that they have an extra 170 kilos to drag around because of the CC's additional body stiffening. So even the most powerful of them, a 150 brake horsepower petrol turbo, has its work cut out. At least the extra weight is backed up by retuned and lowered suspension and generously proportioned tyres. That's not to say the 308cc is a sports car, but it's composed and grippy through corners, steers precisely and rides comfortably. It's also an all-seasons convertible as long as it's not raining. Even with the top down, there's no bluster in the cabin, especially with the wind blocker mounted over the rear seats. You can even get blowers in the front seat backrests to waft warm air around your neck. For a mobile sun trap, the CC has an unusually sporty driving position with a low-slung, contoured seat. However, this can cause a few visibility problems when the roof is closed or when going round corners and roundabouts because of the angle of the front screen pillars. Peugeot claims the 308 is a four-seater with a sizeable boot, but that depends on who the four passengers are. Rear legroom is tight when tall people are sat up front, so there'll need to be some sharing out of space. The boot is the biggest in any Peugeot CC so far when the roof is closed, but you'll need to travel light when it's open. The 308cc is competitively priced against its rivals, but the large discounts once associated with Peugeot aren't as apparent now. What's more, CC resale values have traditionally been a little lower than those of the hatchbacks they're based on because of their more limited appeal. Daily running costs shouldn't be too punishing, though, with all versions giving excellent economy. Every car also has good quality materials throughout most of the cabin, and the high standard of assembly hints at the giant strides Peugeot has been making in these areas. If reliability has been brought up to the same level, Peugeot will have a lot of satisfied customers. It's true that most buyers of cars like this just want to drop the roof and get out on the road. And the 308cc has plenty of features that will tempt you out even when the weather's mild. It has some good engines and a well-sorted, comfort-oriented chassis. The safety and equipment look to be close to top-notch too. However, it's not the most enthralling car in this class to drive, and we'd take those claims of it being a four-seater with a pinch of salt.